there. Uh, welcome to day two of the uh, Beauty Bloggers Advent Calendar. Today I have my favorite primers to discuss. Um, if you're not following along, you can check it out on the blog. There's a little information. But a bunch of us beauty bloggers are getting together and we're just talking about some stuff through the month of December. I mean, it's going to vary depending on what day it is and who you see. So, if you don't know who I am, I'm Cassie by Fueled by Makeup, uh, at Fueled by Makeup. And you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook, as well as my blog, FueledbyMakeup.com. So let's just jump right in. Um, for day two, I was, uh, we were instructed to do our favorite primers, and I've got three of them for you. I've got two face primers and an eyeshadow primer, and I also kind of have an honorable mention that I'm not going to say is a favorite because it might be getting discontinued, and we don't know that. So we'll start with the uh, eye primers because people like them. This is a the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I got it in my Stardust uh, <clears throat> palette and collection and I was kind of hesitant because I don't I'm like a loyal Urban Decay person so I was really hesitant on this but I gave it a go and I found that it works much better for my hooded eyes than Urban Decay's primer potion so this is quickly became a holy grail product this is still the deluxe sample that I got in the packet or in the set but because you don't really need a lot of primer, these little deluxe samples can last forever. Um, I don't know <laughs> the full price of the uh, full size, but you can get these samples when you like check out or whatever, and they're a lot cheaper and they last longer. So there's a money-saving tip for you. So there's that. The other eyeshadow primer is uh, from Wet n Wild, and it's the uh, Fergie Take on the Day. The thing with this is, um, Wet n Wild is repackaging and removing the Fergie line. <clears throat> and some of the products in the Fergie line will be joining the core line, but we don't know if the primer is in there. So this is a great $6 option, but I'm not sure if the sale will be going on by the time this airs and hits my blog, but um, I was able to pick up a backup for $2.50. Three dollars, three dollars at Walgreens. So this is a great, great primer. And again, this, these tubes are going to last forever. Um, a quick tip on tubes like this: uh, a lot of times the product separates. So before you use it, just give it a good squeeze, just run like massage it, so everything can mix up. So those are my eyeshadow primers. Moving on to face. Uh, I have a lot of redness in my face due to eczema and even when my eczema is not flaring up, I still have redness. So. Um, and typically the redness is on my chin and across my Singer's Mask. Um, if you don't know what a Singer's Mask is, it's essentially this area right here. Um, so my redness is on my nose and kind of over on my cheeks. So what I do, so I'm not layering concealer after concealer after concealer, is I start off with a green primer in those areas. Just in those areas. The rest of my face gets yeah, the primer. But I use the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. Because I go through so much green, I like a cheaper option and an option that I can just pop right down to Walmart and pick up if I run out. So uh, this is what I use to cover up my greenness. It is a silicone based primer. It's very slippery. And I found that it can mix well with my other primer um, for those areas so I can have like pull double duty as in color correct and fill in my pores. So that was my second. Then my last one is uh, Benefits Professional. Uh, there you go, you can see that better. Um, I like this for minimizing pores. It is, I believe this one's, this one's also silicone based. Um, it says it's oil free, it's lightweight, it's translucent, it's silky, and it goes on really smoothly. What I do is I quickly spread it in the area I want it, and then I pat it in. And what it does is when you pat it in, it uh, presses the product into your pores. It's like it's like if you're you got a pothole on the road, and if you don't know what that is, lucky you. But and they come through and they they pour stuff in it, and then they kind of pat it in like with a giant machine. Same concept. You've got giant holes in your face, like divots. 
your padding product, and you should actually do that if you have pore problems, be padding your foundation and padding in powders so it fills those holes not, and it doesn't like accentuate them. So, Porefessional is my go-to. It is probably the only benefit product I like. Um, so yeah, that's it. Those are my favorite primers. If you'd like a little bit more in-depth detail um, about these, please go check out the blog on um, fieldbymakeup.com. It'll be there. It'll just say favorite primers. So uh, thanks for checking this out, and I hope you have a most wonderful day.